Hi guys, welcome back to our video again. So in this video, we want to share with you about COE renewal. So we always have this misconception of COE renewal that the rider or the owner have to go and do a bidding exercise just like buying a brand new bike. So after some study, I realized that that's not true. Basically, the renewal of COE is not part of the COE bidding exercise. So basically, your COE renewal is based on historical average price to determine your COE renewal price. So basically, they will take the past six bidding result and average out and that's how much you pay. And this renewed COE or this renewal COE is not calculated in part of the COE quota that they issue out on every exercise basis. So here's how you can renew your COE. So first off, you need to lock in your sync pass into your one motoring site. And you only see that COE renewal option three months prior to your COE end date. So once you log in, you can see the deregister button or the renewal of COE button. So if you deregister your bike, you will basically get back the balance of your current COE value. And if you choose to renew, just click on the renew button. Thereafter, you can choose the option to renew for a 5-year COE or a 10-year COE. So just select them accordingly. And on this page, you will see the value that you have to pay. So depending on which month you are choosing, because remember it's a six week average thing. So it will affect the month to month COE value that you're going to be paying for. So once you confirm and make payment, your new COE will kick in and your current COE balance will be wiped off. So you are basically starting with a new COE, a fresh one from day one, the moment that you pay. So the process is quite straightforward and simple. So you don't need to go through APM and then make bid just like your new COE. You don't need to submit the R01 form and then make some administration payment. Alright guys, thank you for watching our video. See you on our next video. Bye-bye.